All right, welcome back, everybody. We are doing the last part of this chapter, talking about power, similar to work, uh, but a little bit different, uh, which we are going to be going over. So, power formula for that uh, power is the rate at which work is done. So, before we talk about how with work, time does not really matter. It just matters about how much force you're putting in and how much distance something moves because of that force. Well, with power, we do care about it. So power is the work you do divided by the time. So the quicker you do it, or the shorter the time is, the more power you exert. Or the longer it is, the less power you exert. Okay, pretty simple formula. Power is equal to work over time. And then here are the algebraic manipulations if you want to memorize or copy it down. Okay. A car revs its engine and speeds up a hill, speeds up a hill, doing 50,000 joules of work in 8 seconds. A. How much power does this car provide in watts? B. How much power does this car provide in horsepower? Okay. A. Okay, let's see. A is, we're going to do power is equal to work divided by time. So this is going to be 50,000 divided by 8. And let me do that. 50,000 divided by 8. And we get 6,250 watts. Um, great. Part B is how much power does this car provide in horsepower? So 6,250 watts, one horsepower is equal to 746. So I'm just going to do 6,250 divided by 746, and we get 8.38 horsepower. Okay, relatively basic. Okay, uh, just going back real quick. Okay, uh, now next question. Two people are in a heavyweight competition. Person A lifts a 50 kilogram weight two meters into the air with constant velocity in three seconds. Person B lifts the 50 kilogram weight two meters into the air with constant velocity in two seconds. Which person produces more power? So they're both going to be lifting with the same amount of force, right? And they both lift the same amount of distance. So they both do the same amount of work. However, person B does it in a shorter time. Because they do it in a shorter time, they produce more power. So person B produces more power. Okay, moving on. Two people are in a heavyweight competition. Person A lifts a 50 kilogram weight 3 meters into the air with a constant velocity of 3 seconds. Person B lifts a 80 kilogram weight 2 meters into the air with a constant velocity in 3 seconds. Which person produces more power? Okay, so now we have to kind of figure this out. So let's find what the work done of each person is. So this one's going to be 50 times 10. So 50, 500. That's the force applied. And moves it up 3 meters. So this is going to be... 1500 joules of work. Person B uh, lifts 80 kilograms, so that's going to be 80 times 10, 800, that's the force applied, and 2 meters. So this is going to be 1600 joules. They both take 3 seconds, so if we divide this by 3 and divide by this by 3, uh, person B produces more power again. Okay? Yeah? Alright, moving on. Uh, an adult pushes a heavy box with 150 newtons of force, moving the box 5 meters in 7 seconds. How much power did this adult produce? Okay, so let's look at this. Power is equal to work divided by time, but we got to figure out what work is by this person. So work by the force applied is 150 newtons times the displacement, which is 5. So this is going to be equal to 150 times 5. 750 joules. Great. So power is going to be work, which is 750, divided by time, which is 7 seconds. And that's going to be 107 uh, watts. Or 107.14 watts. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Moving on. A woman lifts a 10 kilogram pail of water in, with a constant velocity of 3 meters per second. She lifts the pail of water in two seconds. How much power does she produce uh, during this time? Okay, so she's going to be lifting this pail. It's 10 kilograms with const, uh, constant velocity. So that means the force applied has to be 10 times 10, which is 100 newtons. has to be the opposite of force of gravity. Uh, how much power does she produce? 
so we don't know what distance she goes up. However, we do know that she goes up with a velocity of 3 meters per second and that it takes her 2 seconds. So let's figure, let's use that to help us find the distance. So we know velocity equals the displacement divided by time and we're looking for a displacement. So uh, manipulate that, displacement equals velocity divided by uh, times time. Uh, so velocity is 3 times 2. So now we know that the pale goes up 6 meters. Okay, so now let's find the work, which is the force, which is 100, and it goes up 6 meters. So this is 600 joules. So the power is just going to be the work, which is 600, divided by the time, which is 2 seconds. And it's going to be 300 watts. Wow, she, she's pretty strong. All right, moving on. Uh, conceptual example 27. Two people are pushing the same boulder the same amount of distance. However, person one generates more power during this time. What can we conclude from this statement? A, person one is stronger. B, person one pushed the boulder faster. Uh, C, person two is stronger. D, person two pushed the boulder faster. So we definitely can't conclude who's stronger or not. You know, they're just telling us certain things. Um, but if they both push the same boulder at the same amount of distance, uh, generate person one, number one generates faster. That means that even if they did the same amount of work, uh, person number two must have been done it in a shorter amount of time. So must have done it faster. B. Okay. I hope that makes sense. That is everything with this unit. Thanks for watching, everybody. Next time we'll be talking about momentum. Bye.